So uh, instant rice pepper sheets, edible. Of course, instant rice pepper sheets are edible. Whole fish on the bone, marinated with an umami dry rub, then baked to absolute perfection, and paired with instant rice paper sheets and a selection of aromatic herbs. This is Ganum Ku Banjang Baked Whole Snapper Rice Paper Rolls. Cooking with meat on the bone often tends to result in a dish with superior flavours. We all know that. But cooking with fish on the bone, guess what? It's no exception. Today, I'm making a classic Vietnamese homestyle dish, one I grew up eating on many, many occasions with family and friends, of course. It's a dish that it hits all the senses. You've got the fresh fish, the fresh herbs, a sweet and zesty sauce, and of course, instant rice paper sheets. Today, I'll be featuring my instant rice paper sheets. If you haven't heard of them, I'll show you how to use them towards the end. Let's get cooking, shall we? Let's put the ease in Vietnamese. I've got the oven preheating at 220 degrees, but let's work on our aromats while we wait for the oven. Some lemongrass. Beautiful flavour. Brown onion. Just sprinkle it, make it, it's, it's, it's a nice and rustic dish, so you don't have to line them up like dominoes. Well, I might put some to the side as well. Um, we'll pop some in the cavity of the fish later. Some spring onion stalks. Again, save them for the cavity. Some salt. All right, we're gonna put that to the side. We'll bring that back a bit later. We're gonna make a dry rub, like a dry umami rub. So we want to flavor the fish. You can just use sea salt, but I wanna show you something a bit fancier. All right, anchovy salt, okay. It's almost like an MSG substitute. I'm not big on MSG, but I love anchovy salt. So put some of that in. Beautiful. Sea salt. Lovely. Some sugar. Just a bit of sweetness, balance it all out. Not too much, just a touch. All right, give that a bit of a mixy. I'm gonna sprinkle some of the onions too. All right, lovely. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. Let's work on the fish. All right, so beautiful whole snapper here. I'm gonna pop some diagonal cuts in there because we're putting this in the oven. Putting diagonal cuts like so will help the marinade penetrate the fish. But it's also gonna help the cook evenly and through. I wanna transfer this over to the tray. Lovely. Put this away. And season our fish. Both sides. Make sure you get into the cavity as well. All right, spring onion in, a lemongrass stalk, and some onions, here we go. And give the other fish the same treatment. No favorites here. Give it a flip. Like I said, no favorites. Do it both and do it evenly. I'm gonna drizzle on a bit of oil just to get the fish started, not too much, just a little bit like so. Beautiful, all over the onions as well. It's not gonna hurt. I'm gonna whack that in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the fish cooks perfectly through. Then I'll remove it and allow it to rest for five minutes just before serving. While old mate's having a nap over there, I'm gonna prepare this spring onion oil that will generously dress on the fish. A dipping sauce, the famous nook mum that will go well with the instant rice pepper sheets, and of course, some noodles for well, <laughs> sustenance. And if, oh, actually I forgot, we're also gonna do a platter of herbs. What? How can it be Vietnamese without a platter of aromatic herbs? <laughs> Let's do this.
the fish is ready. I can smell it. <laughs> Let me go grab it. Oh. You're sexy and you know it. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Oh, let's play it up. This is nice and warm. So we're gonna pop it straight on the plate and let it rest for five minutes. But yeah. I feel like a surgeon at the moment. Try and get this off without breaking it. Wish me luck. Oh. oh. My lucky boy. Look at that, beautiful. Just gorgeous. And those onions, they're super caramelised, so don't worry if you get a bit of onion action going on. Gotcha. You get some of those onions on there. That's all flavour. You can put some in the rice paper rolls a bit later. And that juice, look at that juice. Try to get some of that juice on there. That juice looks oh, gorgeous. Oh, look at those juices. They're really important. Guard those juices with your life. It's all flavour, 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 flavour. Bring this across. We dress this generously with our spring onion oil. Wow, we Sprinkle on some peanuts. Texture. Wow, you beautiful thing. There we have it. My Ganu Gu Wenjian, Vietnamese whole baked snapper with instant rice paper sheets. I can't wait to get into it. Oh. Let's make an instant rice paper roll. Beautiful, grab one of those. Oh, we're gonna get some lettuce to create that protection layer. Bit of lettuce, bit of herbage. I've got perilla leaf today, but you can use any selection. Two to three is usually quite good. Uh, some cucumber texture. Garlic chives, because I just love garlic chives. You know what, why not? I might put some spring onion oil on there as well. Lovely. Noodles. Look at that. All right, that might be a bit too much noodles, so I'm not gonna take some of that back, because you don't want too much, otherwise your roll would be too big. Lovely. Now let's get into that fish. Let's see if that fish is cooked all right. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at, oh, look at that. <laughs> that is succulent and juicy. <laughs> oh, wow, it smells so natural as well. It's got this soft, briny flavour of the sea. So be generous with the fish, you know, it's so light. You can get away with overfishing here. Look at that. Now tuck it and roll it like you're rolling up a sleeping bag. Oh. Look at that. Listen to those rice paper sheets. Oh, yeah. And then just, just cup it. You start to soften already. Dunk it like Duncan does. Mmm. Mmm. You can see. That rice paper roll is just instantly softening from that fish. So uh, instant rice paper sheets, edible? Of course instant rice paper sheets are edible. Welcome to Texture Town, the crunch from the cucumber, the pillowy noodles, the slight chew from the rice paper sheets. And my word, the flavour, the fish is Natural sweetness has been taken to another level. That anchovy style, I used a fair bit of it, but it's naturally complemented that sweetness in the fish. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm tasting the sea, but it's so much more refined than that. This is a bloody winner. I reckon I could put 10 of these bad boys away, no whackers. Anyways, if you like winning with your Vietnamese home cooking, Give this recipe a whirl. I guarantee you, it'll be a crowd pleaser. Go on, you know what to do by now. Do yourself a favour for flavour. <laughs>